and welcome to another unboxing video from us here at the Offline Gamer. And today we're looking at Steam Up from Hot Banana Games. And as you can see from the reflection of the ring light in the front of this lovely coated box, uh, it's a food based game, so I've gone for the Deluxe Edition. So Steam Up is a game by Pauline Kong, Mary Wong and Hyman Lee. And yes, Deluxe Edition. We also have the Fate and Fortune mini expansion, which we'll be looking at a bit later. The game is for two to five players, 40 to 60 minutes, ages eight and up. What is Steam Up all about? Well, it's a competitive dim sum collection game with a delicious cultural experience for two to five players. Deep in the mountains of a mythical land, there was a world renowned dim sum restaurant by the name of Steam Up. Become one of the 12 Chinese zodiac animals with unique abilities and be prepared to compete with other hungry companions at the table. Devour as much dim sum as possible by using fortune cards, managing food tokens and rotating the turntable to leave the table with the most satisfied customers. And there are lots and lots and lots and lots of lovely components. So I think we should just go straight in. So let's, as usual, watch the Kickstarter video and then we can see what's inside the box. Welcome to Steam Up a world-renowned dim sum restaurant that only serves a limited quantity of their most popular dim sum every day. After traveling afar and waiting patiently in line, it's finally time for you to be seated at the table and feast on this competitive 2-5 player dim sum collection board game. Become one of the 12 unique animal characters, each with their own abilities. Purchase steamers with dim sum by thoroughly planning your actions such as gaining and spending food tokens, fortune cards, and rotating the turntable to access steamers. But be careful, as other hungry companions may rotate the turntable and devour the dim sum before you. Have your chopsticks ready to devour all the delicious dim sum and gain the most hearty points. Now who will leave the table with the fullest stomach? Okay, here we go. This is a very exciting. So we have the rule book with a list of all the components. A how to set up. Examples of the oh that's good, two player, three player examples, so that's good. Uh, steps to purchase, round structure, game end, final scoring, cards and abilities, and then some references there, and then the people at the back who made the game possible. So, we have a scoreboard, we have our amazing rotating board there, so that's cardboard on top of cardboard with a um, little plastic stopper in the middle. Oh, lots of things to punch out, but I don't know if I need to because I don't know if these are replaced with some of the things in the Kickstarter edition. I'll have to double check that, but let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Put that down there for safekeeping, i.e. the bin. Uh, yeah, so, oh, I think that thing goes around the outside of the board actually. If I remember correctly. But yeah, lots of lovely bits to punch out there. We have our amazing little steamers. Look at those. How cool is that? So we've got loads of them. We have a rather nice bag. That's cool. And right, what we got here? Is that a first player marker or something? Possibly. We have little, oh my word, how cute are they? You've got to look at these. That's outstanding. <laughs> oh dear. I'm a sucker for cool components, aren't I? Oh my word, look at those. They're so nice. They're so well well made. And they're squishy as well. They're not hard plastic. Oh, 
let's just I bet that I can sell some people had a lot of fun designing this I'm sure of it what's that it's a little oh I see yeah and it's squishy they're all squishy I don't know why I keep mentioning that but they're so nice and it's so unusual as well we got we got our little player markers I think lots of different animals and then oh you keep your score and then when you go over the 35 you flip them to the side presumably so we've got a pig is that a ball chicken snake we got a tiger a raccoon I think a few more bits and pieces in there those are all lovely and well printed we got a custom die. I think that's wooden. Uh, lots of bags for when we punch everything out. So those are those. So I'm guessing that, yeah, the wooden ones would do replace those. So that's good. Cards we'll look at in a minute. Player board, more cards there. Player boards, what we got? You know, different. So we've got seafood lover, a magician, silver spoon, angry customer, naughty kid, a gambler, a speed eater, grandpa, a lure customer, oh he's so cute, the meat lover, the food blogger, and the picky eater. And some cards, so I'll just open these. Okay, so player aids, and then we've got all of these with different actions on them. So lots of variety, lots of different things you can do, and I'm sure that will help with the longevity and replayability of the game. And in here we have some little cards. Uh, I'm guessing they change the way the game is played because they have things that refer to all players so I guess they're, act they're actions that affect everyone so that's cool so there you go a lovely box of goodness from um, Hot Banana as so I realised when I was putting everything back in the box that I forgot to show you uh, the Fate and Fortune cards in the mini expansion so there are four fate cards and six fortune cards that just add an extra few things to to the game so i just thought i should show those off as well so i'll now return to the rest of the video i'll put links to everything in the video description if you want to find out more about steam up and i don't see why you wouldn't because it looks amazing but for now that's this unboxing video all done so we'll see you for the next one